Okay, so somebody asked me to do a video on the, the timing. I think hopefully I'll get this done right. Now, you've got your your small gear down here, and you've got the one that goes all the way into the machine right up here. You have to lay this down because as soon as you take off this uh, plate from the bottom, the one that goes, uh, the plate that goes on here, all these things can start falling right out. So I have to lay this down and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, my screw fell out and uh, so everything kind of fell out and here I am. Anyway, there's a particular way that you need to actually set these gears up. As you can see, you've got this solid part on this front pinion. And on the bottom, the small, the small gear or the small whatever the heck this thing is, rail, it goes on the first one. Okay, it has to go on the first one. And as you can see the top, it's not on the first one. If you try all that, play around with it, you'll see that it jams if you try to do that. Now, here it is working. And nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, right? There you go. That's how it works. But it has to be in that configuration, as you can see. Look at that front pinion. Look at that front pinion. Okay. Now, what that's doing, pretend this is my needle. Okay. Pretend that this little screwdriver, here's my needle, and here is your bobbin. As the needle comes down, right, it has to, it has to come down at a certain part of the bobbin, which is right about here, okay? And that's where the thread is. Ay, ay, ay. That's how the thread is up here. Come on, good Lord, Charlie Brown. Anyway, the thread comes in like this, or more so like this, up and down, like this, like this, and so it, it grabs the thread and it locks it, and that's how that's how all sewing machines work. If you have if you have this little setup in the wrong place, it will jam and it will not work, instantly telling you that you did it wrong. However, there are a couple of different ways to do it to where the work it'll cycle just like I showed you here. It'll work. However, here's my Here's my needle, sewing needle again. However, if you did it wrong, what will happen is that as it cycles, it only cycles like this. It only, it'll only cycle like this. It will not, this part here is not reaching the needle. And it'll cycle and you'll think, hey, it's working great. And then you put it back, you stand it up and you see that this is happening. So as I showed you just a second ago with the video, it has to cycle to this point, back to this point, back to that point in order for the whole thing to work just like any other sewing machine. Okay, so I hope that that helps you. I hope uh, the guy who was a person, I don't know if it's a guy, could be a woman, whoever told me, whoever asked me for this like a month ago, I apologize for taking so long. I'm kind of lazy sometimes, and I just do these videos for fun. And I hope that this uh, this helps somebody out there who's wondering how to uh, um, how the timing goes down here. All right.